be monumental to show my very first package that got delivered and to see what my most important thing was. <laughs> and it's soup. <laughs> no, this actually just happened to be on the website. I got this stuff from World Market, but this is the vegan soup that I'm always gushing over. And I just think that's so fitting that this is like what's on the website that you can actually buy. But the most important thing was actually my shower curtain, which I'm super excited about. Come on, World Market. It looked really cool and tropical on the website and I really liked that, creating a nice little oasis. And then I got the hopefully matching rug to go with it. So I'm gonna go set that up. Oh, I forgot I also got these coasters, which are actually so much bigger and heavier than I thought, but I thought they're pretty. There's like a little marble sparkle aspect going on in there. Waking up on moving day, I just felt like I wanted to stretch out, relax, get into with my breathing, just to kind of foster a calming environment for moving day, just so that I wouldn't really get stressed out. And it definitely helped. This is my organization method. I have my name, what area I have living bedroom and kitchen box, what of what to keep track. I love these used boxes, they're awesome. And then I have my little system of what everything is. <laughs> It'll be like box one, it's kitchen. On the, on the top, I have a photo of each of the things to keep track. And so at the top, I know that there's like a can opener or there's some pots and pans. So for example, this one is L8. So living room box number eight. And so we know that that one is a bunch of baskets and clothes. Here's everything that I had for moving day. So I had 24 boxes, a regular rectangle mirror. Then I also had a desk that folded up and finally a dresser. I basically did all of the heavy lifting for the movers to start. I moved everything to the front of the house so they wouldn't have to walk through. They packed everything up in about 20 minutes and then I raced in a car to get to the train so that I could take the train to the city so that I would beat them and I ended up being hours early because they somehow took forever to get there. Hey guys, I am sitting in a tailgate chair as I wait for my movers. It's been like, it's almost one o'clock now. I got here um, like 11.40 something. So my train was at 10.45, which I made because they were a couple minutes late and now it's like almost one and the drivers aren't here so I just called to figure out like where they are because it shouldn't really take that long and they said that they're five to ten minutes away I'm like watching the window like a hawk let me go show you guys my bathroom okay so you should have seen the empty apartment tour right here's the shower curtain that I'm super excited about I love how the back is like a pale blue or green it's not white which is great so it kind of softens it but I think it's really, really pretty and tropical. And the little Mac goes with the two. Things changed in the kitchen. I've just been basically buying the wrong things. Like this thing from Target falls. Um, this is okay, but because of my counter space, I'm gonna have this and have to move it each time I wanna cook. Okay, so everything made it. And like I had mentioned at some point is that I numbered everything. Got my dresser. Um, they definitely <laughs> dented it, like heard it crack while I was in the room. This is considered pressed wood, so supposedly they have no claim on it. Super exciting. My bed frame arrived. I got one from the brand Zinus. Zinus? I hope it's good. I do have a full size. I wanted to maximize on space. But for now, I'll just be sleeping on a air mattress. And you cannot put an air mattress on a bed frame. Um, I did ask because I was curious, um, but yeah, so I'll just add that to the pack and that's awesome. My first meal, these things actually came in handy. I pretty much like organized all the stuff that I had with me. I'm so grateful that I just had things around the house or things that were given to me by my family really made things a lot easier in terms of like the kitchen and stuff i'm gonna get something to like elevate this so i can see everything but i just kind of like ran out of room and was like let me just put this up here i want to fix this up so i just got back from bed bath and beyond i'm tired of spending money like i literally don't want to spend anymore <laughs> but i need to don't laugh i got this little pillow because the pillows were expensive at that bath and beyond but i need something tonight and i know i can get it for cheaper so i literally got this like cheap little pillow that I'm gonna sleep on until I go get my cheaper, better pillows. I think I wanna line all of the cabinets with this. I just don't like this. It's like, 
I don't know how to describe it, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Some toothpaste, a drainer, a cutting board. I just literally used tape and taped up these sheer curtains. So Amazon sucks and what well, was supposed to be one day shipping and arrived yesterday. It has not even arrived today. And it's basically saying that it's stuck on the truck. Yes, I could still see right through. I'm not like just in darkness, but it's almost better to be in darkness because, um, Everyone in the world can see me. <laughs> so that is it for moving day one. I'm definitely not cooking. So good old peanut butter and jelly and a nice cold wood, AKA seltzer. Okay, like not like you can see me, but I just like believe in transparency and like not everything's sunshine and rainbows. It's like six something in the morning and I feel like my windows aren't insulated because I can definitely hear like everything that's going on outside. Okay, I think this is a garbage truck, but if you can hear this, I grew up on a street that was a main street, so I'm not that freaked out about sound. Like, I'm kind of used to it, but this is like a little bit loud, so I'm gonna have to game plan. I'm exposed. <laughs> Dave fell down. I'm gonna have to fix that right now. Oh my God. Anyways, love this. I actually got these from home. I'm so happy with them. Thanks, mom. I just heard that my Brita came in, so I can have some water. I unpacked some clothes, yes. I'm trying to figure out if I want this to be my coats and then guests or my coat guests over here instead, but I think I'd prefer this so that when they come in, you know, this just stays closed and like this is where you put your stuff. I am overly excited and happy that I have all this storage because I could just close this and it's like nothing. I just got this awesome magnetic refrigerator storage rack, so I'm gonna try to put it together. This is so convenient. Okay, and just so you could see, I had that like gap there and I feel like I can put a bunch of stuff here. This all just like folded into place. I got this on Amazon. I'll have it linked for sure. It's gonna be in my Amazon faves actually. It's probably easier. And it magnetizes. So great, I'm gonna put some stuff on there. And I got black just to get some contrast in here because I'm gonna get a frame artwork that has black anyway. So it's kind of going like, look at this. Black, wood, black, wood, white. Yep, we see it, cool. So good that I'm a lefty because I can work here without being right so close to the refrigerator. I feel like if you're a righty, you would be like kind of squished. So I'm very lucky in that sense. I went down to the container store just to like look around and get some ideas. Then I went to Marshall's and TJ Maxx. Marshall's came through. Um, I had a gift card as well. So it feels like I'm not even spending money. I love gift cards, amazing. And then when I was leaving Marshall's, there was $10 on the floor and I was like, is this anyone's? Yay, that's exciting. Um, and then I went to Home Depot and I have I have another set of curtain rods. I just, here they are. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I got these two curtain rods, they're in black. I'm gonna try the hack where you just use command strips to hang these. I hope it works. Um, I just am having second thoughts on drilling. I don't wanna like mess up. That is my update for today. So that is day two. Um, I feel really happy every time I walk around. Um, I'm feeling really, really, really grateful. It's very exciting to see everything. Um, I could get choked up like I am now. Um, I just feel really happy and blessed and fortunate to be able to do this right now. As long as I don't get any mice or roaches, I'll be really happy. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm out, I'm out. I'll see you guys soon. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. I've got my smoothie here. Um, yesterday was pretty good. Nothing really crazy happened, so I didn't feel like vlogging and wasting like film. Um, but I'm waiting for Verizon to come so I can get my internet. Um, what should I? What should I show? Um, hmm. <gasps> oh my god! I'm not vlogging ever again. I just like awkward these are all the boxes that i have left that's great it's just like my clothes i went through a lot of other things i have a million and one rods i returned the double rods and this is what we're let's see how i can figure this out these are the curtains that i got um oh they look cute on film i love these i wanted something a little bit different but then i realized that it does pull a lot of focus so it just kind of changes things in terms of how i want to have 
my bed. This is not gonna stay, but here's the other panel. I wanna create a dressing room type vibe here because this is enough space for me to get ready in the morning and I'd love to just kind of cover this. So I'm gonna get something that goes all the way down or I could part it in the center and then it would just have two sides. I think I wanna do a vanity set with a mirror and that would be my get ready and a stool just the thoughts, but then we were like, where would the dresser go? So we're trying to figure that out. I can always just put my fold out desk over there, add a mirror, and that would be it for now. I am slowing down on the, I gotta buy everything right away thing so I cannot like spend all my money. Okay, Amazon purchases. I got these two uh, non-stick baking sheets that, um, or baking pans, baking sheets, whatever you wanna call it. And then I got this black thing that I hope will go right here. Um, because I have a giant gap and, you know, I will probably drop something. So this is the front of it. And then this is the back. And I guess they were thinking it was going to be small, but I have a huge gap. So let's just see right now. I guess that's okay. So that kind of does work. It definitely won't work over there. Again, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to be that, 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 that on this side as opposed to my right hand. So I'm a little less worried about that. I probably could just cut it a little bit. Target is literally the best. There is no other. Um, I just wanted to say that out loud. Here's what I got. So I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I'm trying to do this thing with my bedding and it was really expensive, the normal sheets. So I'm trying to make my own like cheaper version. Hands were only like 69 cents. Another deal back on the budget train. Had to get my hot sauce. It was on sale. I just did my workout, I'm really happy, mad fit, she's the best, felt good to get back into it. I haven't worked out in a really long time, like maybe a couple of weeks, I really can't remember. So I'm off to try a new church today. Um, there's a church nearby and I'm going to test, not test it out, I'm going to church, but I've just never been there before. So I'm just kind of like, hmm, I don't know what to expect. And this is what I'm working with right now. Look at all that space, I've got space. And this is like summer and winter. This side is crazy, but it's like your average linen cost. I'm gonna get to the point eventually, not right now, where I have like organizers and stuff, but I'm not gonna spend any more major money this month. I'm about to do my Zionist Mia bed frame. I'm super excited. I did it. So here is where the bed will be. Fits right in. Can't believe I never finished the vlog. I just kind of stopped filming. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out my next video because I'll be talking about what it's like sleeping on this uh, eco-friendly mattress. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.